Hey, what's up world? It's Steven here with your sixth public speaking tip on the sixth day of our exercise in getting you to be the most effective public speaker that you can be. It takes daily practice, it takes a lot of effort, but if you do it, I promise your confidence will grow and your customers or whatever, whoever you speak to and whatever reason you want to improve will be much, much more apparent to you and available to you with these exercises. So, day six, we want you to sound real. Sounding real is obviously authenticity, but it's also about tones and understanding the way that you speak with people. You might have been to a speech where it really sounded like someone was practicing it and it was very much on stage and when you got to talk to them afterwards, you're like, are you the same person? What, what's going on here? And that's what I mean by sounding real. So if you go through any of your speeches or you look over whatever it is that you communicate, you don't want to sound like a product. You want to sound like yourself. So think about saying that same sentence in a couple of different tones. Think happy, sad, bored, excited. Now let's go with an example. I'm excited maybe, oh, I gotta pick up my laundry. Or neutral, I gotta pick up my laundry. Or sad, I gotta pick up my laundry. Same sentence, different intentions, different feelings, and different emotions that you might have felt when I said those things. Now, I'm acting and I'm putting on with this one sentence to give you an example, but remember, you don't wanna sound like a canned version of yourself. You don't wanna sound like a speech. You wanna sound like you. You wanna sound like the conversation you're trying to have with your audience, whatever audience that is. Work on these parts of your speech and literally run through a couple of different sentences in there for those different moods and tones. Because I promise you, you'll notice that you sound and feel really canned in certain portions of your speech. So if we go back and you record yourself as you're speaking, you're gonna see and feel how unnatural certain parts of your speech feel. And those are the places where you should work to sound and feel more like yourself. This is Steven here with your sixth tip of the public speaking guide on how you can speak yourself into existence. And I'll catch you in our next installment for step number seven. Peace.